Addy, Addy, Pico de Gallo here. Uh, and a funny thing happened to me when I was on my way to work this morning on the side of the road. Now today is not trash day, tomorrow is trash day. But on the side of the road, I saw what looked like a 19 inch TV. Uh, just sitting there, just sitting there, waiting for someone to give it some love and care and attention. And today, I am that so. Um, like I said, tomorrow is trash day, and all I can imagine is that they have put this TV on the side of the road as trash. But with CRTs, you never know. Is it trash? Is it not working? Or is it just uh, so it's taking up too much room in someone's house and they don't want to take it to a recycle shop or they don't know that that is an option and they're just uh, getting rid of it. There's a really nice Ford over there and it looks like someone has beat me to the punch. That TV is gone. That TV is toast. Not there anymore. If I had the right road, let me make sure that I have the right road. I could be, I could have the wrong road. <laughs> there's, there's two parallel streets that it could be. And like I said, I was in a hurry this morning and I didn't. You know. I was in a rush, man. What can I say? What can I say? I was in a rush. But let's check this street right here. And oh guys, oh guys, we are here. We have arrived. We have CRT. I am looking at it. So let me put this thing in park. It's got a remote control with it. Okay, it looks like an RCA. All right, let's let's put these hazards on. Let's go. Let's go grab this two TV. All right. I'm just gonna leave my door open. All right. So here I am coming out, and we're gonna. How do I turn this thing around? I don't know how to turn this thing around. Okay. But here we are with this tube TV right here. It's like it's an RCA. And uh, it looks a bit bigger than 19 inches. Looks like someone was not very careful whenever they set this thing down. Uh, you can see right over here, it's got some damage. Whew. Who is hot? And it is hot in South Texas today. So we're gonna pop open the back and I'm gonna load this guy up. You guys give me one second. See if I can find a place for you to exist. There we go. You get to see Pico's, Pico's side, his un undercarriage as I burn my arms I'm trying to pick up this, this TV right here. Let's pick up. Here we go. The original remote with it, which has seen some better days, looks like uh, both this TV and the remote have been mishandled. All right, so we are back inside with this RCA TV. Uh, let's go over it a little bit more closely now that we are out of the car and uh, and you can see what's happening. Here's the meat of the damage. It looks like it took the plummet. So I would imagine that this thing was sitting on top of a dresser and uh, had like a, a, a coaxial input connected to it and it fell off the top of, it fell face first or corner first uh, off of that dresser and and that's what ended up breaking the coaxial input you know because it still had this uh, plugged into it but it's missing it's it's just uh, this piece it's missing all the cable and everything inside of it 
And as you can tell, this thing is off center. The chassis is all out of whack. Um, like the, the, the RF connector is still there, but as you can see, like uh, I have the NES RF switch or the RF uh, yeah, switching unit. Let's see if I can get this started on here. You can't go very far with it because there's not much thread that's out in the open uh, because this thing is so off center. So you just kind of barely get it started until you know the nut uh, starts meeting up with the, the plastic housing over here. So here's what we're looking at. It is the F27442 unit. So it is a 27 inch. I thought it was 19 from the road, but uh, that's my, that's my uh, old man eyes failing me there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. I don't know what that is. I'm a little curious. So um, we have this obvious damage up here. The rest of the TV kind of looks fine. I mean, it's got some, it's got some wear and tear, but nothing looks as bad as that front corner. And it's even created, uh, I don't know if you can tell in here, but it's created separation between the tube and and the housing over there. So I have, a, I have a Nintendo. We're going to uh, try to power this thing on. We're going to see what happens. Let's see what happens with it. So stand by just one second. Okay, so kind of the moment of truth for this thing. Uh, it's plugged into this utility strip, so I just need to turn the utility strip on. Heard a clicking sound inside of the TV. Not sure if that's good or bad. Now, this is the remote that it came with, this RCA remote, and I thought that I had seen this style before, and yeah, it's like an exact match for the DVD, the original uh, Xbox DVD remote. Like... Everything about it looks the same except for the button layout uh, and like up here because oh, the rest of it looks the same. So I put some fresh batteries in this remote and uh, as you can see, this also has some separation and it has some uh, some issues. Oh, yeah, you can see them right there. That's pretty bad. So we're going to see if this remote will actually power the TV on. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, I don't know if you heard the static and everything, but yeah, that's insane. I mean, look at, let me see if I can get this on here. The condition of this thing. <laughs> and this TV is, uh, appears to be working. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna mute that real quick. Yeah, so the remote works, the TV works. Um, let's see if it gets RF signal. Okay, NES is working. Look at that, this TV has fallen flat on its face and here it is playing the Black Bass on NES. You know, they just don't make TVs like this anymore. If you were to drop an LED panel or something, man, say goodbye. But this thing manufactured in 2001, I believe, is still up and running, so. While I don't trust the the frame, the damage of the frame over there, I don't I don't trust this TV to either last much longer, um, or I wouldn't trust it to move around a whole lot. It is fully functional, so that leaves me with a bit of a conundrum: Do I scrap it for parts that I know are going to be working, or? do I try to rehome it as is in that current condition? I, I could use the parts for a CRT tester and, uh, and other good parts just to have around. So uh, if you have an opinion on that, please please weigh in. Uh, other than that, there's, here's, a, here's a happy rescue. Here's a happy rescue. It'll let us input our name and everything. Or it won't. Oh, it will. Okay, just a really hard to match start button. So, if you have a, an opinion on what you think we should do with this thing, kindly let me know. Pico de gal out.